Hello everyone, Trophy Wine Hunter. Welcome back to my wine channel. It's now November 2022, almost the end of this year. So this month's update, a couple of things um, on the horizon that are exciting. In BC, there's the Bordeaux release on November the 19th. I will have a video out that day, I think approximately 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. Um, I have to uh, wait until um, after the sale starts in the morning. There is a substantial amount of buying that, uh, come, that occurs based on my recommendations. And there will be an article that comes out, I think, at 10 a.m. with the Richmond News, who I write for first, and then I will release the video on that day. So that's kind of very exciting. I have a lot of Bordeaux tastings this month. I hope you guys will be okay with that. It looks like it's going to be very Bordeaux heavy up until maybe January, February. I try, I will try to put in some Italian and some other wines, but it's going to be a lot of Bordeaux because that's what a lot of um, my clients, friends do drink a lot of. This is one of the bottles I'm really excited to bring you. It's the 2004 uh, Old Beyond white wine, which is um, even more difficult, uh, I think, to get than the red wine. So that's exciting. I'm finally doing my video on uh, Saint Emilion, the region, and then followed by a tasting of Chateau Pavie. I'm sorry it's taken so long, but it's really a difficult uh, topic to deal with. I wanted to really understand it and present something that was of value to my subscribers and viewers. So I really wanted to take my time. Hopefully I've done a good job. I will also do a video on Sautern, the region of Sautern, and also with a tasting of Chateau de Cam. I have a, found a really nice BC wine that I would like to introduce to everyone. And um, yeah, so there'll be other tastings along the way. Um, I think there is an Italian night that I'm scheduled to do in the late part of this month. It might, the video might not come out till um, the December months. I know I've been talking about it for many months, but I will get my membership together for those that um, I shout out for. Every month I try to pick a couple of people that shout out. Um, and again, if you've been a frequent viewer and um, I've just forgot about you, kind of please remind me. The other thing is that I always get a lot of comments. I try to um, answer and reply to each one of them. And sometimes I'll say, oh, I'll, I'll cover that in my next video or my next. Uh, if I haven't covered it, um, please comment on this video so that I'll, I'll remember to do it next month for sure. Because I always say I'm going to comment. And then I, when I get to the end of the month and I do this video, I forget. So this month's shout out is going to be to Daniel um, Plainview and um, Michelle BK. Uh, so those two people, thank you so much. And all my subscribers and viewers, thanks so much for uh, continuing to watch me and also for the comments. I love the comments, I love the questions, I love the engagement with everyone. Everyone, again, is so polite. I make a lot of mistakes, I admit it. I, um, and everyone's so polite about kind of fact checking me and, um, kind of being light and if I do make a mistake I'll either kind of acknowledge it in the comment section or I'll try to go back and edit the video so that I kind of can edit out the mistake. As we get to the end of the year um, it looks like I might be doing some traveling so I'm reaching out to all my viewers and subscribers in Hong Kong and Singapore. I will be there in the next little while so um, I'm particularly looking for kind of um, people to give me some thoughts about where I can eat, um, where there's good wine lists. Uh, please just send me a um, personal message on my email address and uh, you know we'll, we'll see if we can touch base in either Hong Kong or Singapore. I usually talk about a subject every month um, that's kind of dear to me and one of the questions that I do remember someone came up with was they asked me well uh, Trophy you it seems like you bring in a lot of wines to restaurants and you know you're breathing wines you're bringing wines before how do you do that and um, my answer is really just and I always take it as not a demand but as a request so whenever I bring in bottles I always ask the restaurant if they have corkage if they allow corkage if they don't I'm good whatever their rules are I follow them 
um, and I try to check beforehand if I'm not sure if I really want to bring in a bottle but normally I just bring in the bottle and if they don't allow corkage I'm good um, it's just being polite and then likewise you know um, be nice to the sommeliers and the, the servers and waiters share the wine with them um, tip them well <laughs> it's just like no, little uh, you know just sensible uh, uh, reactions to people it's just be nice to people um, and you know kind of if you're a big time wine drinker and you're bringing a thousand dollar wine give the guy a tip right share some wine with him don't be uh, it doesn't it be consistent with the class of the wine because you know if you're bringing that type of wine and then you're drinking it every last drop and you're not really tipping very well and you're not being you're being impolite to people how does that represent you as a wine drinker and as a, as a trophy drinker it, it doesn't um, be generous with people you're very I, I think that people that have the ability to drink these wines are very fortunate so share your um, fortune with other people share your blessings with other people be friendly don't be snobbish um, if someone is admirable of the wine you know yeah let them have a taste if you can right you don't I don't need to drink every last drop you know um, you know if someone's curious I'm happy to share with them because you know life's short you don't again I'm not gonna no skin off my back if I don't get a, the every sip of the Aubryon if someone's polite and comes up to me and says hey admires the wine I'm happy to share with them and, and get their opinions of things too um, so just and I think that's um, served me well in kind of getting you know good wine service and um, being able to kind of get uh, good things at restaurants so that's really how I do it uh, there's no secret to it um, just be a nice person the rest of this video is for my BC um, residents and this is every month I do a review of the BC liquor stores what's on sale what's new um, this month there is uh, I had a real difficult time finding a uh, I usually try and find a wine a red and white wine that's under $15 I had a really difficult time finding one under $15 and what I'm finding in BC is that it's not that difficult to find a red wine under $15 but for whites I'm having a problem really giving a good recommendation um, just because a lot of the whites are really fairly similar and um, I can't really uh, distinguish you know between 15 20 or 30 dollars in terms of the quality um, that's just, I'm having a difficulty doing that whereas I'm finding a little bit more bargains on the red so I'll try to do better next month um, in terms of my recommendations for the lower end stuff um, but uh, I think I've got some good um, kind of recommendations for everyone this month um, one of them is the productory the Barbarasco is out again the 2017s are not as strong as the 15s and 16s prices are higher and it's going to continue to go up because productory the Barbarasco I think is still underpriced um, if you're going to buy the 17 vintage they're all the same price all the single vineyards in productory the Barbarasco are all the same price but I would recommend going with the um, Sili and the Rabahai, or Rabaya, sorry, pronouncing it incorrectly. So um, those are the two that I would kind of buy of the 17 vintage. Um, I've got a lot of the 15 and 16. I'm big on it, so I'm not sure I'm going to buy more. <laughs> it's taking up a lot of room in my cellar. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And um, again, thanks so much, uh, viewers and subscribers, for continuing to stay with me. Um, I do a lot of videos. I do kind of twice a week. I might go down to once a week. Um, it seems like a lot, but at the, at the same point, it seems like I drink a lot. And especially in this season, it seems like I've had a lot of opportunities to drink great wines. And every time I do, I want to do a video on it. So um, we'll see how far that goes. Um, I like doing the videos but at the same point it might be too much for everyone to see me doing a new video every couple of days so we'll see how it goes uh, it might go down to one video uh, a week um, depending on how busy it gets in the Christmas season but I really enjoy the videos I'm actually um, 
really hopefully you'll support my other channel which is trophy food experiences it's a really exciting time in vancouver because we just got the michelin guide for vancouver so michelin just started to rate restaurants in vancouver so i'm doing a detailed analysis of what happened there um, a four-part series of videos on my other youtube channel um, trophy food experiences so please check that out particularly if you are a vancouver resident um, hopefully you'll support my channel uh, that channel also until next time happy drinking so here are my recommendations from bc liquor stores for the month of november 2022 First is a white wine from the Mackinac region. I've been talking about how Mackinac provides value. So this is a Poulet Fousse, uh, which is a region in Mackinac, uh, probably one of the better regions of Mackinac. It's made from the Chardonnay grape, good introduction level wine to um, Burgundy white. It's on sale this month from $42.99 to $38.99. Chartron is a well-known producer for BC liquor stores. Um, buyers uh, we get a lot of them and we see this label quite a bit but um, it's always nice to get a price reduction and I like I think the price is right on this wine this wine caught my eye it's a new wine it's not on sale but I know that uh, I've been talking about Prodotori Barbaresco uh, this is another Barbaresco producer which we don't see a lot of in Vancouver it's Massimo Rivetti well-known producer fifth generation uh, grower so um, I thought it was interesting that um, they had it and the price is right it's $59.99 um, for a new product so I actually think this is a pretty interesting buy um, and you can compare and contrast to the um, Pratori de Barbaresco a little bit newer vintage 2019 okay vintage um, but I think this drinks a little bit earlier than uh, Pratori's, um wine so it could be interesting compare and contrast this is another new product that's caught my eye this is from the Jaboulet this is the 2019 uh, Domaine de Talibet from Groy's Hermitage I've always loved this wine and I've seen it consistently go up in price I remember buying this in the mid 30s and 40 dollar range now it's almost up to 60 I think it'll continue to go up because it's a great producer and a great bottle of wine um, it's going to be Syrah dominant from Croix Amitage. Jabolet is the producer of La Chapelle, which is, I think, almost 10 times as much, maybe, as this one. Maybe not 10, maybe five times as much as this wine. But um, this Domaine de Talibert uh, is really a great wine. It can really age. So it can drink well initially, but it can age for 10, 20 years, no problem. So it's a real good buy. Next wine is another great wine. It's the uh, La Volte 2019 from Ornelaya. It's their entry level wine, but it's reduced this month from $34.99 to $30.99. Great deal. 50% um, Merlot, 30% Sangiovese, and 20% Cabernet Sauvignon. It drinks really well right away, uh, but you can age this wine for another three to five years. And at $30 a bottle, um, it's grab a case of this you know Christmas season is coming along you can drink it you can hold it you can gift it it's a serious wine it's not a wine that um, you know people are gonna laugh at you about this is serious wine from a great producer um, it's not that expensive but it is considered a really good quality wine so I, I really like it at this price I'll just mention that I did do a review of the Levolte, which you can, which I'll put at the end of this video, as I did for this wine. This is the Orange Swift 2019 Abstract. Not my cup of tea, but I can't um, deny this nine dollar reduction, huge reduction of price, forty nine ninety nine to forty ninety nine. It's a heavy wine. It's going to be eight months in oak, twenty seven percent, which is new, fifty seven percent, which is um, French oak. Um, it's a blend of um, Petit Syrah, Syrah, Grenache, and Cabernet Sauvignon. A little bit um, over the top for me, my personal palate, but I know a lot of my friends who tasted it loved it. So if you're a Napa Cab drinker, I think you'll love this wine. Um, and it's a huge reduction. So um, although I wouldn't personally buy it, I think I can't deny that it's a, it's a great price for this wine. This next um, wine caught my eye. 
both um, their Oreda and their Hilltop is on sale. It's a winery called Clona Killa. They make Shiraz and they are in the New South Wales region. Um, so it's kind of neat in terms of they, they're near the town of Murrum Batum, Bateman. And so um, it's kind of off the chart normally uh, for Australia. So it's kind of a neat place to grow Shiraz. And I think they've been growing it since 1971. Um, I would check it out. It's a quality winery, so it's a huge reduction. Um, they got these, I guess, sing, almost like think single vineyard um, offerings. And this one is, um, the Oreda is reduced from $59.99 to $54.99. They have another one called um, Hilltops, um, which is a kind of, I guess, I, I don't know if that's single vineyard. That might be just um, a combination of different um places but that's um reduced from 44.99 to 39.99 but i would try this out because it's just a different story um it's a different place um than you would uh normally get uh from australia in terms of it's not barossa valley so it's kind of just unique i think each month I try to present a wine, a red and a white wine under $15. And this month's red wine is from Fat Bastard. It is the Pay Doc uh, Shiraz, reduced from $16.49 to $14.49. Um, a cute wine from the southern coast of France. So these are kind of um, value wine regions. So they're kind of value wine specialists. And that's where I like to go with value wines. It doesn't need to, if you're going to get in the $15 range, you kind of want to go with specialists that do produce um, kind of value wines. That's their specialty. So this is going to be Shiraz Syrah uh, blend. It's going to be easy drinking. It's going to give you some body. It's going to give you um, some tannins. Um, and nice with the meats and things like that. So, um, you know, you're not you're gonna just pop it open. You're not going to really um, store it too long. But um, I think it's um, quite good value uh, for the money. As I mentioned, I had some difficulties finding a wine under 15, a white wine under $15. I did find one. This is the Matua uh, Pinot Grigio, re reduced from $16.99 to $14.99. Again, when I go with um, these wines, kind of value wines, I want to go with kind of good producers, uh, kind of named, uh, known entities. So Matois is a quality producer of uh, Sauvignon Blanc, and I think the Pinot Gris would be interesting. Um, so I'm going to recommend this wine as the white wine this month. I know this is a spirit product in several wine, but I saw this and I thought it was kind of a neat product. So it is basically the Adictivo Tequila Mini Pack. And what it'll get you is $80.99, but we'll give you a small sample of the different types of tequila from regular to Reposado to Anijo to Extra Gran Anijo. And it's a really great sampler pack. And for those who are not familiar with te tequila, I've got a video on that. Um, it's really neat. It's not just um, what everyone thinks is shots of tequila. When you get to the extra Niho, it's actually very sweet and very smooth. And it's a totally different product. So I think this is kind of a neat um, product if you want to have understand a little bit about tequila and the, the various types. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, happy drinking.